hi everyone welcome to my youtube channel in this tutorial we are going to do 2d gear and rack analysis so we have a problem of uh, 2d gear and rack so in this case uh, in this case we are uh, designing a system to apply a force of 25 uh, uh, 2500 newton and uh, there will be some movement will be applied to to create uh, this kind of uh, force so we have this force but we do not know how much uh, torque will be required at this point so using this uh, tutorial we will be getting the uh, torque required to create uh, this much of force okay let's start first we will open a static structural if we go there in engineering data there will be structural steel we will be keeping it the same now we are going to oh, import geometry that is gear set to the step file it is there so from here we can change this analysis type to from 3d to 2d in model we are going to double click so this is a 2d surface so first what we have to do we are going to change uh, unit to mm kg newton this one and this wizard it is there so we can create uh, click on this here we can see like uh, we have to define all the uh, task uh, so like define thickness so first we are going to define thickness select both and define thickness the thickness is 12 mm verify material so material here it is structural steel then considered multi step analysis okay then what we are going to do connection contacts here we are uh, going to convert it uh, from bonded to no separation and uh, in, uh, after clicking on geometry we have to keep this 2d behavior as a plane stress now we are going to insert so we have to get uh, 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 torque at this point so first we are going to create a remote point select here apply ok now we have created remote point so we are going to insert remote displacement so click on geometry selection change it to remote point and select this remote point what we have created earlier here now we are going to constraint it 0 x by component also 0 and z component is also so at this point we will be getting the reac uh, reaction moment reaction so that we can get how much torque is required to create a 2500 newton of the force at this point now we are going to insert fractional support to this side if we create the click on this apply selection so it will be selected here again insert so here we can see a insert a structural loads so th that we are going to insert force at this point apply then change the vector to component there in y direction we are going to apply 2500 in this direction ok now we can solve this now it has been solved insert deformation total and insert we are going to probe there we will be going to moment reaction so here where we want moment reaction that is remote displacement at this point we want moment reaction ok now we can 
evaluate all results. So if we click here, this will be showing the deformation, total deformation, and we can see from here, so like if this is applying force here, it will be coming over the teeth. Here we have remotely constrained this one. So okay, moment reaction, if we go, so moment reaction Z that is coming 91801 so that will be in clockwise direction so here we can see this reaction will be in clockwise so this much of uh, torque uh, is required to create a 2500 newton of force in this direction 